hey guys bhavish this side back with another video and uh, i thought like why not create another video for you guys and for, for today's video we are going to actually talk about like how you can use a loom to land more meetings <clears throat> for your agency right so in this video like uh, we are going to literally cover like what you can actually like say in the loom video right and in in order to like get more appointments right because like i know like i know a lot of people who have been using looms and still they are not able to land meetings right so i'm just uh, going to give out uh, give out some few pointers which you can like uh, like use and apply uh, while recording a loom for your like uh, prospects right and if they like it hopefully they will reply back and hopefully you you are going to land a new appointment right so guys first things first just want to cover the basic stuff which is the <clears throat> like <clears throat> you can use loom while you're dming someone while emailing and cold calling so i know like you will be like guessing like or assuming like how can you use looms for cold calling but i have tried it once and it worked for me so i i did uh, like actually like before cold calling i uh, like recorded a loom for five prospects right because like you are uh, you know like uh, recording looms is very tedious as well as like it takes a lot of time so i recorded that loom before even cold calling and it was five prospects so uh, i i literally recorded those five looms and then i then i called uh, those people right and when i called then i just i, I was completely upfront and i told him like i have recorded a quick video for you on how you can like improve your website right so that was the video and i have a i have this google sheet created and i have the links in front of the name of the prospects right i, I copied that link and sent it over to him via email he opened up the uh, uh, loom video and he actually liked the video during the call itself right so it wasn't like five minutes video it was just a quick uh, valuable like one or two minutes video way too much short and way too much full of value and he really liked it right but his objection was like as of now his like website uh, he wasn't looking to like uh, spend money to rebuild his website but uh, his website was way too much like very old orthodox kind of website right so he his only objection was like he doesn't want to spend any kind of money on website right so like i didn't pressurize that much but uh, yeah that's that's my experience from like uh, using loom while cold calling so you can also use like looms via cold call uh, like when you are cold calling people so you can like uh, create a spreadsheet and you can just list down all the people who are going to uh, call right and you can just record 10 looms i know guys like recording looms is like takes a lot of energy a lot of time and it's very boring as well as tedious but guess what this is the only few things which is going to land meetings for you right so <clears throat> you can use this in for these three form of outreaches i'm not sure like there are any other form of outreaches for loom but which i'm aware of so you can use like for dm emailing as well as cold calling right so this is the like the basics i wants to i wanted to touch point on the second is like uh, you all know like it's a personalized way of outreach when we do outbound prospecting we literally use generic um, templates right we copy it we paste it that's it so in order to like get a response these days in a saturated market we literally have to do something personalized and and i i know like i myself is like facing a lot of competition these days when i'm outreaching not just me my sales team also right they're not even like getting responses on linkedin like they used to get responses before in like, in volume right so they have been also facing a lot of like a problem struggle struggle uh, while getting responses and uh, we are also like getting like a hard time booking appointments for our agency but guess what guess what guys this is like how the things work you have to make things work right so it's a personalized way of outreach and in order to get and stand out from the crowd in a saturated market like today you have to do this kind of outreach which is the personalized way of outreach right so let me show you the new uh, not new but some of the pointers i'm like listed out for you so yeah now in the loom video what you can do right this is like i'm just giving away like what i used to do and nothing new so what i used to do is like i used to include their website the fb page anything which can be improved which is related to their business right uh, it can be their website their facebook page their instagram page if they are on twitter the twitter page reddit um 
if if they have a business profile on Quora, that can uh, that also can be included in the uh, video. And another thing is their YouTube channel. Anything which is related to their business, you can just include that in the Loom video, right? So, guys, in the Loom video, what you have to do is you have to appear and act as an authoritative figure, like you know it what you are actually talking about right you should know it and and you have to behave in a way like you have done this kind of thing which you are talking in the past and you know how to improve this kind of stuff right you don't have to uh, be up here like completely naive and like you don't have any experience you are just kind of outreaching to them you are just reaching out to them and if they get a little bit sense like you are just uh, like way too much a uh, new or you can say naive for this kind of thing then he won't even like continue watching your video your prospects right so you have to appear as an authoritative <clears throat> figure while uh, actually recording your loom video right so this is the point you have to just remember in your mind right so again this is the most important point whether you are like recording a loom or whether you're providing uh, let's say you're posting something in front of your prospects you have to provide value whether you post on in different groups on uh, Facebook or, or recording looms, you have to provide value. And when I'm saying value, the value should be like, like if you just tell them some tips, they should feel like, yeah, I, I never thought like this can also be happen uh, on my website, on, on my Facebook page. And if I implemented this, which this loom guy is telling me, then my sales will increase. So the value should be actually impactful for their business just one value which is like not that much big but yeah it should be impactful and it should actually um, kicks uh, in the brain right strike in the brain like yeah i didn't know this and if i implemented this in my business uh, it can drastically improve it so and when they will implement that and if they get results they will reach back out to you or if the whatever tip you are giving out if that tip strikes in his mind yeah this tip is like actually amazing so let's let's contact this guy because he knows what he's actually talking about and let's let's do business with him simple as that so when you are reaching out to clients you should know uh, like what kind of value you have to give them which is impactful as well as which strikes the brain as soon as they hear it right so just work on the value because everyone is like just giving like yeah you can improve your website you can install a facebook pixel your website isn't responsive you can build a web new website or, uh, or in terms of like uh, facebook page you can like start posting more in order to grow organic audience guys this is very cliche stuff you have to think out of the box in order to get responses guys this is very much competitive market a lot of people are into smm space they all want clients they all are reaching to the clients whether it's cold dms looms just just you think of like any outreach they are just doing it right so in in order for you to stand out of the crowd you have to like use a different approach and completely think out of the box right and that's how you are going to like um, actually land meetings for your marketing agency if that's making sense right so guys another approach you can take is like this is a risky approach right uh, but you should give it a try uh, like when you're recording looms so what you can do is like if you're uh, reaching out to roofers and recording looms for them you can open up like two or three different new websites for roofers which is like much much improved website website in terms of marketing in terms of like facebook posting in terms of they are, they are posting on instagram the creative look goes good right they're posting videos of their projects just open that up and just compare your present prospect a website or whatsoever it is to your competitors ones and they will feel like yeah my competitors are doing much 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 better than me so why why i'm like just lagging behind right why I, i'm not taking action and if if again this this thing if uh, strikes in his mind he will again contact you right because what happens is like i forgot one point which i'm going to tell you in in the last right so they will contact you how because you will give them a call to action in the end of the video right because like i have seen a lot of looms right in my facebook group as well like people just forget to complete just completely forget about like leaving a call to action in the end of the video guys you have been recording this long loom video like two or three minutes long loom video and in the end you are just not giving them a call to action 
CTA is like call to action and just by saying call to action, you're giving someone an action and they actually took action on it, right? And literally I have experimented this on different posts. If I don't give them a call to action, they don't act. And when I give them a call to action, they act and uh, whatever it is like drop a comment, DM me, I get the DM, I get the comments, right? Because you are giving them a call to action and you have to make sure you always give call to action, whether you are posting on Facebook group, whether you are recording looms, whether you are reaching out to prospects, you have to give a call to action. And I, I realized this very late, but you shouldn't be the ones who realize the, the realize this like after like uh, one or two years of, of prospecting, right? So you should have this in mind. Just give them a call to action, right? So this is one approach also, guys, uh, you can open their competitor website. Facebook page, app, whatsoever it is, uh, your prospects uh, are actually in. Open their competitors and, and compare them. That's it. You just have to compare and show them like their competitors are doing much, much better than them. And just help them strike that thing in their mind. And they will contact you because you will drop a call to action in the end of the video. Right? So let's, let's, let's. Maybe this is the last two parts. Let's cover it real quick. So again, you have to be completely confident. Like I mentioned, you don't have to be act like naive, who is just completely new, just starting out, who don't have any knowledge and seems like he never done any kind of these proje projects like before in the past, right? So you have to be co confident. You have to like keep it simple. And uh, and the vi Loom video should also be short. I've seen the Loom video should like, like, five minutes long 10 minutes long guys there are a bunch of prospects you have to record almost 10 to 20 looms a day if you have to dominate your mesh so you cannot just waste not waste but yes you cannot just create uh, 10 loom videos uh, where one loom video is like a of 10 to 15 minutes just keep it short and simple max should be five minutes a video max should be five minutes a video but i would personally do if i do loom outreach so max it would be two minutes per video because guy guys i will just keep the video short i will actually use a script right because i've mentioned that so when i'm saying script right you, you just have to like kind of add that script in your mind as in just remind that script so that you just don't follow you have to create a framework like yeah in the first 30 seconds i'm going to like in the first five to 10 seconds, I'm going to give a quick intro about myself. In the next five seconds, I'm going to go to their website, something like this. Just make timestamps like, yeah, in this second, I'm going to say this. And in, in, in the next 10 seconds, I'm going to cover this part. In the next 15 seconds, I'm going to compare their competitors with them. Just just create these timestamps. And as soon as you start creating and recording these new videos, you will get used to it. And you will you, you won't be even needing a script to record these looms because repetition is the key guys right uh, the more you repeat these kind of stuff the uh, you actually get better in it right so it's simple as that now if we in the end of the video like let's discuss about the call to action right so guys like i mentioned you have to uh, include a cta if you give them cta they will act if you don't give them a cta they won't act they will just see your entire video watch your entire video and just leave it right there in, in the cta part what you can just say is like uh, hey john if you just like this quick um uh, video from me about your business or which about your website website a quick uh, you can say a rundown on how you can improve your website uh, i'll be more than happy to get on a zoom zoom with you or or a quick call to chat over how we can like actually implement and improve improve your website something like this just just test different call to actions and you will find out like the winning cta and you just have to use that cta uh where pro where your prospects are actually acting upon right so guys this was the entire video so i know creating looms is very tedious very boring task but the ones who are doing this they're actually landing appointments so just a quick video if if you are like recording looms and sending uh, them to your prospects just make these a uh, few tips pointers in your mind and hopefully i just try my best to like provide value to you guys and hopefully uh, this pointers will definitely improve your loom right and the max should be for me five minutes max as for per loom
I mean like per video, right? So this is like the few pointers I will keep in mind if I do send out loans to my prospects, right? Because as of now, uh, I'm not doing any kind of loans. It's just all outbound prospecting campaigns, uh, just DMs, SMS, not SMS, DMs as well as, yeah, just DMs, right? So we are not even like using email. Uh, we don't cold call. It's just purely DMs, which is like we sometimes do LinkedIn, sometimes uh, Facebook, right? So guys, this is it. So let me just go to uh, my Facebook real quick. So yeah, guys, I uh, just also wanted to uh, tell you guys, like if you aren't a part of this community, like 10 MMA, the link will be in the description. Just hit that link, join the group. Another thing is like, uh, if you're not aware, uh, we are also launching like our 10 MMA inner circle. So you'll be like, I will be personally helping you, assisting you to getting your first paying client. And we will be having like two weekly calls, right? Uh, like I don't know the duration of the calls, but yeah, I will try my best to like cover as much possible. I will be hearing you guys personally, like what are you currently like uh, facing problems with, and we will figure out stuff together. We are we, because guys, we all are in this together, and that's why we are going to figure stuff together. Another thing is like we have a personal group, Discord channel again, right? <clears throat> and yeah, guys. Like I, I will just try to add as much as value just for $67 a month. Just, just think of, think of this guys. You're just trading $67 to get like a thousand dollars client, right? Just $67. And it's nothing like the price will remain $67 only. It will, again, I will definitely increase it in the future when, uh, when the actually like the members of this SMMA circle will start getting clients, right? Because initially I personally thought like of putting the price of $97 but yeah guys I know like initially uh, when you think of investing in something you think like 10 times 20 times because I was also there uh, when I first got a, like a client for $1,500 I just reinvested that $1,500 into a paid mentorship uh, which I still kind of regret because uh, it was an impulse uh, buying decision from my end but yeah I got the experience. I got some good points from that guy, a good mentorship. And guess what, guys? It's it's all compounds over time. So just don't uh, rethink when you are investing in yourself, right? So this is a sixty-seven dollars to get you like a, a, like eight fifty dollars or thousand dollar client or even fifteen hundred dollars client, right? So guys, we are all in this together. So I have checked the submission. So we already like have around fifty or fifty-one submissions. So we will be a group of 51 people who will be like, <clears throat> um, who still have some clients or who are just starting from scratch. We all will be trying our best to help each other and actually take action and actually land clients and make money, right? So this is the exact, uh, you can say the agenda of this SMMA inner circle. So just wanted to put this out. You will also find the link of this uh, uh, waiting list in the description. You can just enroll yourself on the waiting list and hopefully tomorrow is Friday and we are going to launch SMMA Inner Circle tomorrow. So you will be getting an invite straight on your inbox. Just accept that invite and you'll be in, right? And then you can just make the payment in the Discord group, right? So this is like very automated and a, uh, organized kind of group I'm trying to create. So yeah, guys, again, um, the, but the best thing is just join this group. 10k SMMA, you will find the link in the description because I post my wins, my losses here every single day, right? So, guys, this was it. Hope you like this video, and I'll be back with more amazing video for you guys. Have a good day, guys.